A boxer's fracture is a bone fracture, broken bone, in your hand. It's a type of metacarpal fracture. Your metacarpals are the bones in your hand that connect your thumb and finger bones, your phalanges, to your wrist. You can feel your metacarpals by pressing on the back of your hand. A boxer's fracture is a fifth metacarpal fracture, the bone that connects your pinky finger to your wrist. It happens when you break the neck of the metacarpal, the end that joins your finger bones. You'll probably only need to wear a splint or cast while your bone heals after a boxer's fracture. More severe fractures require surgery to repair, especially if you have other injuries. How are boxers fractures treated? Your provider will suggest treatment to help your bone heal. With treatment, you will need depend on which type of boxers fracture you have and any other injury you experience. The most common treatment includes immobilization, closed reduction, and in the last boxers fracture surgery. About immobilization, I must say, if the boxer's fracture in mind is mild and your bone did not move far out of place, you might only need a spleen or cast. Most people need immobilization for three to six weeks. You will need follow-up x-ray to make sure your bone are healing correctly. 2. Closed Reduction More severe boxer's fracture may require a closed reduction to set your bone. Your provider will physically push the outside of your hand to line up your broken bone to prevent you from feeling pain during the procedure you will receive one of the following, a local anesthetic to numb the area around of your fracture. And three, about boxer's fracture surgery. Most people did not need surgery for a boxer's fracture, but your provider may suggest surgery if you have an open fracture. 